Welcome. In this session, we will be doing an example of the loop method. You can pause the screen to review the method. The problem we have is a known inflow with three pipes. In the middle of the two pipes, you will see two loops, loop one at the top and two at the bottom. So how do we get this done on the computer? We fire away with Excel. We have the given input values for length, diameter, and the pipe roughness, K is in millimeters. And we have the given flow rate, total flow rate, and the viscosity, kinematic viscosity. Next, we guess the QI values in the three pipes to add up to 250, and then fire away with trial one. Now, list values for length, diameter, and KS in the first columns. Separate the table for loop 1 and for loop 2. And notice the shared pipe, BE, that appears in both loops. Calculate values for velocity in meters per second, the Reynolds number, and lambda, the pipe roughness, and then HF. The correction factor is now calculated for each loop. So first for loop 1 and loop 2 we get the total HF values and then the sum of HFI divided by QI. After calculating the correction factor we go and cross over correction factors from other loops for all shared pipes. Now. There's one correction factor for every loop. Apply that correction factor to each pipe to find a new Q value. Let's do a quick revision of the correction calculation. The correction factor already includes the negative sign, so don't let this confuse you. With the shared pipe, transfer the two values from this loop and other loops, and then you take the one correction factor minus the other one. Finally, we need a new Q for every pipe. It will be the original Q for that pipe plus the correction factor. For shared pipes, we would have, for in this example, minus 150 plus 126.5. It's minus 23.5. Now we have the new Q value for every pipe. Transfer this to the second trial as your input Q values. Then repeat the process. Find new Q values, continue to trial 3, trial 4, trial 5, etc. until you have the final answers. Make sure to include pipe A, B and E, F as well. And then calculate the total head loss through all the pipes.